I posted a young man today whom I absolutely adore. And his Instagram name is your favorite Tarzan. And I'm telling you that because I want you to look him up. This is press for him to have the Queen of Shade talking about him. But uh, this is press for him. But I, I definitely want to talk about my interactions online since I have posted um, your Tarzan's video. Now, in this video, your Tarzan, first of all, if you go to my page, he's a beautiful man with dreads, a very caramel complected man. His hair is like brown. It's not black. It's like brown and like amberish kind of color. Like he's like a, um, what's the word? It starts with a B. Uh, no, he's a ginger. He's a ginger. He has like ginger colored hair and he has locks. He's gorgeous. His body is amazing. And what I have come to know of him is that he's also very kind and very chill. I've spoken to him. He's very open-minded. He's very chill. He's just doing him. He's putting himself out there the way everybody has done. Me, you listening, everybody who's in entertainment, everybody who has a business has to advertise. So he's advertising. And what is he advertising? His beauty, because that's his business. But um, I was noticing a a lot of comments in my comment section about him possibly being homosexual. And I started to remove them. I started removing them all. And it bothered me tremendously. It bothered me. It still does, which is why I'm kind of taking my time so I don't hit a gasket on you guys because you guys didn't do it. But um, I started to remove comments and then I made a a post under the post that I posted, I changed the caption. And I'm like, listen, and this is for all the men on my page. I don't know if the men on my page are gay and straight or straight, gay, straight, bi. I don't know. Um, to be quite honest, I don't care. I'm not trying to get into their pants. I tell them they're beautiful all the time. I give them the heart emojis. I give them the adore emojis, all of that. But I'm not trying to get into their pants. I care less who they're sleeping with. And my attitude is just because they're seen on the Queen of Shades page and I am a gay man does not mean that they are gay. And I think it is very, very poor form and bad taste to assume that every single man that I post on my page is gay because they're not. Um, their sexual orientation, your Tarzan's sexual orientation, your favorite Tarzan's sexual orientation is none of your fucking business. It's none of my fucking business. We're not fucking them. And even if we were, that's between you, them, and the gatepost. I don't understand why the comments were so visceral. Here it is. This man is masculine, beautiful. He was showing off his ass. He, had a, he has a great ass. He has a great body. He was showing off his ass. And... Somebody commented, several people commented, oh, I think he's gay. I still think he's gay. Da, 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 da. You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like hate. I don't even feel like screaming. I'm just going to talk. It sounds like hate. It sounds like some serious hateration. And my stance on the hate is, okay, first of all, like I said, if, that, if I see that on my page, I will block you permanently. Instagram has this new feature where not only can I block you, but I can block any account that you ever make in the future. So if you get on the Queen of Shades bad side and you get blocked, honey, you ain't never coming back. You ain't never coming back. And one of the quickest ways to get blocked by me is to start posting things about these men's sexual orientation when you know nothing about them. I don't care if you do know. Keep it to yourself. That's not our business. It's not my business. I'm here to showcase them. That's what I'm doing. I'm here to show them off. So every time I get a show pony and a lot of the content that is on there, I request. A lot of them aren't even that much of a show pony. I'll say to them, hey, I need you in shirt to be shirtless. You know, put on some briefs, put on some this, put on some that. So that I can post you on my page because my page gets a lot of attention. A lot of people spend hours on my page listening to my content. Yes, but looking at the men. And that is part of the allure and the fantasy. I don't give a good goddamn what their sexual orientation is. That's none of our business. And I'm adamant about that. That's none of our business. 
And I'm highly offended. I'm highly offended that people would speak to any of my boys in a condescending way. First of all, what's wrong with being gay? Let's let's examine that. I'm gay. So you up there poking fun at him being homophobic, you're being homophobic against your queen. And then you got to go. You got to go. But the fact that he's being seen with me does not mean he is gay. It means he is smart because most people can't get into my presence. Most people can't get on my page. Most people cannot be endorsed by the queen of shade. So for him to be on my page, he's already fucking winning. He's already winning. And I get a lot of sour ass Bettys. And listen here, I don't just block. I go look at you. I go look at your page. I see your little soggy ass selves. I do. Making fun of somebody who spends hours of his life dedicated to fitness, healthy living, and healthy eating. And you want to take and condemn him because he's beautiful? Something's wrong with your mirror. Something is the fuck wrong with your mirror. I will not tolerate that on my page. I enjoy the fit boy shout outs because my attitude is I don't care what they do. Porn star, model, dancer, actor, shoe shiner. I don't care. If I see them and they move me, they're going on my page. And so many other people ask to be on my page. And sweetie, you don't cut it. You're not what I'm looking for. You don't have the right body. You don't have the right face. You don't have what I'm looking for. So no, you can't be seen on my page. I'll say that right here and now so that you can even feel even more ostracized instead of low-key hating on the guys that I post. If you angry, be angry with me because he didn't do anything. It was me. I chose to post him on my page. And then y'all want to go after him. Oh, he's gay. I know he's gay. Oh, he's nothing. He's boring. It's just ass and muscles. Then why are you on my page? Because that's what I post. Why are you on my page? Why are you on my page? See, a lot of people need to learn how to lurk without commenting. Because once I'm aware of your hatred, I will remove you. I don't care how long you've been supporting me. I will remove you. Because what my page is, is a hub. And a safe space for anyone that I bring to you guys. Anyone that I show you guys. You will not bully them because they're pretty? The fuck? How does that sound? They say beauty is a blessing and a curse. Well, not on my page. It's not. Beauty is a blessing. And I love what I do. And these guys that I show you are some of the nicest guys you will ever meet. But I get the I get the DMs and the emails. Oh, you're showing him and he's so nasty to gays. This is that. No, he's not nasty to gays. He was nasty to you because you tried to come on to him and he shot you down. You overstepped your bounds. And then your, your excuse for why you overstepped your bounds is, well, you're showing your ass. That's none of your business. He could be showing his full on frontal and that's none of your business. To support future content from me, please click the link in my bio section to give and donate.